Okay, so here is the garden, and we've got the post up already. My husband was out early in the morning swinging a sledgehammer because it gets very hot in Arizona, so he did it really, really early, so I missed it. Um, but the poles are up. And we are starting to put the fence in. I will say that this fence by this maker was very, very, um, this is a very old fence, and it's uh, definitely going to get a not so shining review on um, Amazon so we will look and find you a different one a different brand because the the fence is just I'll show you here in a little bit how it's just simply unrolling and coming apart but we're gonna go ahead and put up the fence and I just want to make note here, our backyard may look a little chaotic and messy right now. We're in the middle of trying to renovate it, and gardening is part of that renovation. We're training our puppy, um, Mastiff, and he we want to protect our house. So that fencing around the house is just basically to keep him from damaging the house because he's still in the chewing stage. So just an FYI, and then the weeds, of course, those uh, will we were waited on spraying for those until after we built the garden. Look out, Bella. Okay, so here we go. We've got a bunch of plants that we bought uh, that were on sale. These are all cherry tomatoes or tomatoes, different tomatoes, which really grow really well in Arizona. And then um, we also got some basil. Um, that's gonna go in our first row. I've also written out a plan for how we're going to do the garden. I plan to do a bunch of videos where telling you which plants you can plant per month in Arizona, so that's coming very soon. Here you'll see my husband is cutting the zip ties to the fence that he used, to, the zip ties that he used to put the fence to the T-post, and we'll go ahead and see how that um, holds up, but that's how he's connecting it all together. Remember, this is all about creating a garden on a budget, and so, You'll see that we, we tried to cut corners here or there, and this fence was one of the ways. It's not a very good fence, and we do not recommend it. And you'll see that in future videos as to why. Because the whole purpose of the fence was to keep animals out and our dog. Um, you'll see we uh, double fenced across, so we were just wound it through. And then here I wanted to show you, this is how we know it's, it, it was manufactured inappropriately. So this is the end. So just watch. Here's the end. Just follow my finger. Oh, look, look. See, see? So they literally, and here's more of the end. So you'll just see that I went sideways. That's how they manufactured this. Are you crazy or not? And what we had to do is we literally had to pull this and try to straighten it out at one point and kind of bunch it up over here just to try to straighten it out. So again, I will list the one that we got and say in the bottom and description and say this is not manufactured properly. And then we will find you some others that you can get if you want to go ahead and get some more. You might be asking how am I going to get in there because I'm so short. That ladder right there will do the trick for now. I am still trying to talk my husband into letting me plant the tomatoes here and then vine them up the side here as opposed to spending extra money on the circle vines but we'll see how that goes so up next the fence took about would you say how many hours was the fence huh a couple hours does that include the pounding in the stakes does that include the pounding in of the stakes uh, a couple hours to put in the fence to pound in the stakes with a sledgehammer and um, and then zip tie it up as you saw we zip tied it and uh, doubled it over and all that excess that my husband is now throwing away. All right, so well, let's move on to the next step of the garden. We're about a hundred days away from having our first plant, our first fruit. As we're building the fence, I'm noticing a bunch of ants over here and shadow. I got it! I got um, the egg and Okay, get shadow out of there. I don't want him to like start it up already. Shadow, come. Shadow, come. We're going to start um, immediately looking at um, how the uh, 
ecosystem is going to affect the plants, so I'm going to have to start doing some research. We'll have some videos up on that. But I want you to see, so far the fence is going up. Like I said, uh, my husband works in construction, and he sees this stuff all the time, and we, this is the worst construction fence he has ever seen. We'll have to replace it with a wire fence. We're going to have to replace it with, like he said, a wire fence. Like he did with the screen door. <laughs> that was a story I never told y'all, but he went right through the screen door. And uh, it wasn't even like it detained him. Um, so yeah, this is not going to hold him out. And the whole purpose to the fence was to hold him, hold him out of the garden. It will, like he said, like Gary said, it will hold him out for a while. He hasn't gone through the fence yet, but he's eyeing it. Look at that. He's just a playful puppy, and like I said, he is a puppy. He's only a year old, so um, he's just a playful puppy. What's that? What, what's in the garden there? Eggs and pretzels. Eggs and pretzels? Yeah. Wow. Those grew overnight. It usually takes 90 to 100 days, 120 days for a plant to produce. Okay, I'm going down. We make some breakfast? Yeah. I can't hear you when you whisper. Okay, so you want mommy to make the breakfast, but then you'll say you made it? Okay. <laughs> That's well, not how it works, my love. Okay, I'm going to keep recording. Okay, I'm keeping recording. <laughs> oh, she's going over to trampoline to make breakfast. As you can see, that fence on the side on the ground totally um, destroyed when we unwrapped it. It was just. Yep. Okay, show them here. Yes. Show them where. So this is, um, this is, my husband wanted to point this out. See how off it is? Like the fence should be straight, but it's so off. It's so, it's so brittle and so old that it's got holes all throughout. And then it's not even, it wasn't even manufactured straight. So we'll be sure to list the manufacturer that we got this from as a do not buy, do not recommend, and we'll find some that we would recommend.